Welcome to Wake Up With God. We live stream Sunday Mass today. We attend the Holy Mass on Sunday, 27th October 2024, 30th Sunday in Ordinary Time. When the Lord delivered Zion from bondage, it seemed like a dream. Then was our mouth filled with laughter. On our lips there were songs. Please keep quiet and concentrate on attending the Mass. Subscribe to the channel to follow the next Masses. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Manifest your almighty power above all by pardoning and showing mercy. Almighty ever living God, increase our faith, hope, and charity, and make us love what you command, so that we may merit what you promise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. Thus says the Lord, You shall not molest or oppress an alien, for you were once aliens yourselves in the land of Egypt. You shall not wrong any widow or orphan. If ever you wrong them and they cry out to me, I will surely hear their cry. My wrath will flare up, and I will kill you with the sword. Then your own wives will be widows, 
and your children orphans. If you lend money to one of your poor neighbors among my people, you shall not act like an extortioner toward him by demanding interest from him. If you take your neighbor's cloak as a pledge, you shall return it to him before sunset, for this cloak of his is the only covering he has for his body. What else has he to sleep in? If he cries out to me, I will hear him, for I am compassionate. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I love you, Lord, my strength. I love you, Lord, my strength. I love you, O Lord, my strength. O Lord, my rock, my fortress, my deliverer. I love you, Lord, my strength. My God, my rock of refuge, my shield, the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. Praised be the Lord, I exclaim, and I am safe from my enemies. I love you, Lord, my strength. The Lord lives, and blessed be my rock. Extolled be God, my Savior, you who gave great victories to your king and showed kindness to your anointed. I love you, Lord, my strength. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Brothers and sisters, you know what sort of people we were among you for your sake. And you became imitators of us and of the Lord, receiving the word in great affliction, with joy from the Holy Spirit, so that you became a model for all the believers in Macedonia and in Achaia. For from you the word of the Lord has sounded forth, not only in Macedonia and in Achaia, but in every place your faith in God has gone forth, so that we have no need to say anything. For they themselves openly declare about us what sort of reception we had among you, and how you turn to God from idols to serve the living and true God, and to await his Son from heaven, whom he raised from the dead, Jesus, who delivers us from the coming wrath. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Gospel according to Saint Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. When the Pharisees heard that Jesus had this, 
had silenced the Sadducees, they gathered together, and one of them, as caller of the law, tested him by asking, Teacher, which commandment in the law is the greatest? He said to him, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the greatest and the first commandment. The second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. The whole law and the prophets depend on these two commandments. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord. Lord Jesus Christ. Magandang ubaga sa inyo lahat. <clears throat> Yan, balik na uli ako. Ilan din ko din ako nawala. Trabahong pari lang po. Okay, yung ganyan. Ewan ko lang kung naalala nyo pa yung usapan ni Inga at ni Ingkong bago sila ikasal. Nakwento ko na to Matagal na yun. Anyway, sabi ni Ingkong, Inga, iaalay ko yung buong buhay ko para sa iyo. Simula ngayon. Sumagot si Inga, Ingkong, susuklian ko yan ng aking buong-buong pagmamahal. Walang pag-iimbot, walang alinlangan. Sabi ni Ingkong, eh pag mahirap na akong mahalin, kapag mahirap na akong mahalin, ano gagawin mo? Sumagot si Inga, mamahalin kita ng buong buo. Kung iyon ay kulang pa, ang ibibigay ko sa iyo ang pagmamahal ng Diyos. Yun ang sagot, ang pagmamahal ng Diyos. Masarap magmahal. Masarap ang may nagmamahal. Subalit, mas makahulugan kung ikaw yung nagmamahal. It's a beautiful experience to be loved. But far more beautiful it is when you have someone to love. Kaya lang, meron laging katanungan sa ating puso. Paano na lang kung mahirap ka nang mahalin? Paano kita mamahalin? Paano kita kakausapin kung sa iba ka nakatingin? Paano kita mamahalin kung hindi mo naman ako pinapansin? Paano kita kihintayin kung wala namang katiyakan na uuwi ka sa akin? Paano kita mamahalin kapag ang hirap mo nang mahalin? Dumadating yan sa ating buhay, sa ating puso, kahit kanino. At siguro kapag mahirap na ang ating sitwasyon, ang pagmamakalag, doon tayo babalik, huhukayin, at ating sasariwain yung talagang kadahilanan kung bakit ko ginagawa ito. Kapag nahihirapan ka sa trabaho, Babali, bakit ko ba ginagawa ito? Ano ba talaga ang dahilan? Sweldo lang ba ang usapan dito? O dahil paglilingkod ko to sa bayan? O dahil sa mga pa, sa anak ko, sa asawa ko para sa kanila? Babalikan mo yung motivation, yung dahilan, yung udyok kung bakit mo ginagawa. You will always go back to your motivation that spells your passion and your enthusiasm in whatever you're doing. Ganun din sa ating pakikitungo sa isa't isa. Kapag mahirap ka nang mahalin, ang aking tanong ay hindi na paano kita mamahalin. Wala na nga sagot eh, wala na nga eh. Bakit kita minamahal? Bakit? Yun ang tanong dun eh. Why do I love you? At dahil mahirap ka nang mahalin, <clears throat> at waring hindi na sapat, yung aking pagmamahal sa iyo, yung karaniwang pagpapakita ko ng pagmamahal, bakit nga ba? Ano nga ba yung dahilan? At si Jesus, sinabi niya sa atin yung kadahilanan. Nung panahon ni Jesus, pinagtatalunan pa nila, ano ba talaga ang pinaka-fundamental, pinaka-basic, ang simulat dulo ng ating pananampalataya sa Diyos? May mga nagsasabi na ang unang-unang utos ay 
Igalang mo ang araw ng Panginoon. Respect the Sabbath day sa atin. Magsimba ka paglinggo. Yung iba naman nagsasabi, uh, ang kinin mo yung mga dayuhan. Tanggapin mo ang mga may hirap. Do la- love your neighbor. Yung ganon. So nagtatalo sila. Kaya tinanong nila si Jesus, Lord, what is the greatest of all the commandments? In other words, alin ang pinaka-basic? Alin ang pinaka-buod ng aking pakikito, ng pakikitungo ng tao sa Diyos? At ang sinagot ni Jesus, alam na nila yun eh, yung Shema, Shema Israel. Isang maikling dalangin na dinadasal ng mga Hudyo at least twice a day. Thou shalt love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. And you shall keep this in your heart. Tie them around your, your arms. Put them as a band around your head and teach it to your children to the seventh generation. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, with all your strength. This is in Deuteronomy, the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 6. Nandiyan yan. Memoryado to ng bawat Israel. Galing yan. Diyan ang buod ng lahat. Diyan nagsisimula. Subalit so, dinagdagan ni Jesus, may dinagdag siya. Na sa kanilang pagwari ay magkahiwalay. Sa kanya hindi, magkasama yan. And the second is like it, love your neighbor as yourself. In other words, para kay Jesus, kung totoong mahal mo ang Panginoon, hindi pwedeng hindi mo mahalin ang iyong kapwa. Ang pagpapakita ng pagmamahal sa Panginoon, ay sa ating pagmamahal sa isa't isa. At ang kabaligtaran, saan nang gagaling? Ano ang tibay? Ano ang talagang dahilan? Bakit kita mamahalin? Dahil yan sa pagmamahal ko sa Diyos. Tama si Inga. Kapag mahirap ka ng mahalin, pagmamahal ng Diyos ang ibibigay ko sa iyo. Yun lamang ang dahilan. Kapag mahirap ka ng mahalin, babalikan ko kung bakit. Hindi dahil masarap ka, dahil mabait ka, hindi dahil marunong ako magmalasakit, nagpapakabayani ako. Hindi. Ito ang aking pagmamahal sa Diyos. At dahil dyan, kahit na mahirap kang mahalin, hindi na ako na alam paano kitang mamahalin, nandyan pa rin ako. Hindi ako bibigay. Madalas pinag-uusapan ng divorce. Tayo ang nagkasundong magsama tayo. Kaya tayo rin ang magkakasundong maghiwalay tayo. So kagustuhan natin na magsama tayo. Ngayon kagustuhan natin maghiwalay na tayo. Sa usapang ito, hindi naman natin tinatanong ano ang kagustuhan ng Diyos. Ang tinatanong lang sa divorce, anong kagustuhan natin? Pag naghiwalay tayo, masaya ka, masaya ako. Okay na? Eh si God. Sa divorce, wala ang Diyos sa usapan. Kaya, ganun na nangyayari. Pero kahit na mahirap na ang ating pagsasama, pag binalikan natin ano ang kagustuhan ng Diyos, tiyak, hindi hiwalay. Siguro, bumalik ka muna sa nanay mo, mag-isip-isip, ako mag-iisip. Pero mag-asawa pa rin tayo. Mag-asawa pa rin tayo. Hindi tayo divorce. Hindi tayo hiwalay. Siguro magpapahinga tayo o ano man yan. Siguro wag muna tayo mag-usap. Mapareho tayo mainit ng ulo. Pero hindi tayo hihiwalay sa isa't isa. Sapagkat yan ang kagustuhan natin. Hindi nga eh. Yan na ang kagustuhan ng Diyos at yan ang iiral sa mga sandaling ito. When we find it hard to love, When we lose the reasons to love. When we just could not bear the love anymore. It is then that we go to the deepest of all love. I love you because I love God. Sabi ni Jesus, This is the foundation of all the prophets and the law. Ibig sabihin, prophets and the law, sa Hebrews, yan ang lahat ng kanilang mga sinusunod sa buhay. Yung turo ni Moses at turo ng mga propeta. In other words, 
Yan ang buod ng ating pakitungo sa Diyos. Na ang, pag ang pagmamahal sa Diyos ay pinakikita sa pagmamahal sa kapwa. At ang pagmamahal sa kapwa, hindi, ang hindi magtatagal yan kung hindi nakatayo sa pagmamahal sa Diyos. Natatandaan ko pa, 43 years ago, nung kami ay oordinahang pare, kinausap kami ng isang matandang pare. Sabi niya, bukas o ordinahan na kayo. Puputaktiin kayo ng mga demonyo. Alam niya, pari kayo. Kaya tutuksohin niya kayo na mas matindi pa sa ibang tao. Ngayon kayo ay mga batang pari pa, ang tukso niyo ay galing sa labas. Maari kayo matukso sa yaman ng mundo. Marama, ma, pwede kayo matukso sa sakarangyaan ng buhay. Pwede kayo matukso ng mga babae magagandang naglipa na sa tabi nyo. Pero pag matanda na kayo, matandang pari, baliwala na lahat yan. Ang tukso ay ang sarili mo. Yung nakalimutan mo na kung bakit ka nagpari. Yung nakalimutan mo na bakit ka naglilingkot. Nakalimutan mo na bakit ka nagmamalasakit. Kapag yung kabayanihan mo ay hindi na sapat, kapag yung mga ginawa mo ay nasira ng lahat, kapag ikaw ay hindi na pinapansin ng mga tao, babalik at babalik ka, tinawag ako ng Diyos. Pinagkatiwalaan ako ng Diyos. Mahal ako ng Diyos. Utang ko lahat sa Diyos. Siguro ganun yun eh. Ang sabi ni Jesus, Love your neighbor as you love yourself. So the question is, How do I love myself? Dahil ba mabait ako? Dahil ba bayani ako? Pukupas lahat yan. Mamahalin ko ang sarili ko dahil minahal ako ng Diyos ng lubusan. Mamahalin ko ang Diyos ng lubusan, hindi dahil malaki ang utang ko sa Kanya, kundi dahil utang ko ang lahat sa Kanya. Lahat galing kay God, kaya ang ibabalik ko sa Kanya ay buong buhay ko rin sa Kanya. Sa malaktaling salita, pagmamahal sa kapwa. Kaya siguro, Kapag mahirap ng mahalin ang iyong kasama sa buhay, number one, pray. Balik ka kay God. Go back to your motivations. Pray. Pray generously. Ganito kang magdasalin, Panginoon. Sana magbunga naman po yung malasakit ko para sa Kanya. Tamang dasal ba yun o mali? Hello? Sorry Lord, wala akong pausap. Okay. Sana Lord, magbunga yung malasakit ko para sa Kanya. Tama mali? O tama naman. Kayo naman o. Pero, ano dinadasal mo? Siya o yung malasakit ko? Pray generously. Hindi na yung malasakit ko, Panginoon. Sana makita niya ang tunay na landas ng buhay niya. Panginoon, sana matutunan niya mag-sorry mag sa akin. Hindi, Panginoon. Bigyan mo siya ng tunay na kaligayahan at kapanatagan ng kalooban. Pray unselfishly, generously. Unselfishly. It's not about what I did. It's not about my love. Lord, your love for Him. That's what I'm begging you. Sana, Lord, maging masaya siya. Second, love. 
love humbly. Magmahal ka. At ang pagmamahal, para malaging matibay, may kasamayang kababaang loob. Yung bang, alam mo, map, 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 may kababaang loob, kapag hindi pihikan sa buhay, yung handa kang magmakal, kahit na ano pa ang nangyayari sa buhay, kahit na ano pa yung isinasagot niyo sa'yo, yung you love through the obstacles, you love through the pains of loving itself, sometimes you speak up, sometimes you just keep quiet, sometimes you have to stand up like the hero, but sometimes you just have to bear the cross, Sometimes you have to give everything. But sometimes you have nothing more to give. But you continue loving and praying for the person. Love unselfishly. Ano yung una? Pray generously, unselfishly. Second, love humbly. And third, Walk gratefully. Palagi kang magpapasalamat sa Diyos. Isipin mo palagi na minahal ka niya. Kaya doon sa first reading natin kanina, ang sabi ng Panginoon, tanggapin mo ang dayuhan. Mahalin mo yung taong mahirap mahalin sa buhay mo. Sapagkat meron ding sandali sa inyong karanasan na kayo man ay mga dayuhan. Love the alien and welcome the alien because in the first place, before you were aliens yourself. At kaya kayo ngayon isang bansa, isang matibay na bayan, dahil iniligtas ko kayo. Dahil sa kagagawan ng Diyos. Kuminsan, naiisip natin yung pagmamahal na ibinibigay natin. Tama naman. Huwag natin kakalimutan yung pagmamahal na tinanggap natin. And that what defines us and that makes the difference. The love that God has shown to us. Kapag yun ay nawala, kahit na magpapakabayani ka pa, mapapagod ka, magsasawa ka. Walk gratefully. Lagi mong babalikan, iisipin, Tatandaan. Yung mga sandaling minahal ka ng Panginoon, ipinagtanggol ka niya, binuhat ka niya, at lahat na pinatawad ka niya, only then, you will find the motivation to continue loving. Paano kita mamakaling kapag mahirap ka ng mahaling? Sabi ni Inga, pag-ibig ng Diyos ang ibibigay ko sa iyo. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through Him all things remain. For us men and for our salvation, He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake He was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and His kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead 
and the life of the world to come. Amen. God gave us a commandment of love as our guide in everything we do. In faith, let us implore His help and our Lord Jesus Christ. Let our response be, Lord of light and salvation, teach us how to journey in love with our neighbor. Lord of light and salvation, teach us how to journey in love with our neighbor. Let the church, through the Pope, the bishops and priests, and the entire people of God, may be channels of God's love, and with this love, she may continue to seek out the sinners, the prisoners and their victims, the unlovable and the lost. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord of light and salvation, teach us how to journey in love with our neighbor. That our government leaders and those tasked to implement and execute our laws from our president, legislators, judicial authorities, and local government officials, as well as the police and armed forces, may always be aware that their authority is God-given and that they may exercise it with love, tempered with justice, mercy, and respect for the dignity of all. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord of light and salvation, teach us how to journey in love with our neighbor that those who have been deprived of love through violence or self-pity may be touched and transformed by God's grace and human kindness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord of light and salvation, teach us how to journey in love with our neighbor, that parents and families may make their homes a haven of love and nurture children in genuine love, and in turn, share this love with others. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord of light and salvation, teach us how to journey in love with our neighbor. That those tasked to care for the prisoners, the jail and prison personnel from the Bureau of Corrections, the Bureau of Jail Management and Penology, and the provincial jail guards may do their job conscientiously and that they would consider it more as a mission rather than just an employment. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord of light and salvation, teach us how to journey in love with our neighbor. Let those who are actively involved in the prison ministry, the chaplains and volunteers in prison service throughout the country, may continue to give hope to the prisoners and their victims, through their life of love and service, we pray. Lord of light and salvation, teach us how to journey in love with our neighbor. Lord, your love give us life and salvation. Help us to follow your greatest commandment, to love you above all things, and love our neighbor as we love ourselves. May we continue to give hope to our fellow humans, especially the prisoners and their victims, to our life of love and service. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.
pray to your brothers and sisters that this, my sacrifice and yours, may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Look, we pray, O Lord, on the offerings we make to your majesty, that whatever is done by, it, by to us in your service may be directed above all to your glory. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you so loved the world that in your mercy you sent us the Redeemer to live like us in all things but sin, so that you might love in us what you love in your Son, by whose obedience we have been restored to those gifts of yours, that by sinning we had lost in disobedience. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we do give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim. Indeed, hold your Lord, the fount of all of holiness. May call you therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he too prayed, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. <clears throat> Save us, Savior of the Lord, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, her blessed spouse Joseph, with the blessed Apostles, St. John Bosco, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. <laughs>
that the Sages command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await a blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of the church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. This is Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Please kneel. Prayer for peace in the Middle East. Father of all mercies, we pray for the families who have fled their homes in fear. We lift up the mothers and fathers who have escaped with only their children, leave everything else behind. Their country has changed, their lives will never be the same, and they are afraid of the future. Lord, you are the God who heals. Please bring your comfort and healing to those who are hurting. We lift up the communities who have taken in refugees and displaced people, even though they may be struggling themselves. We thank you for their generosity and compassion towards those in distress. Lord, you are the God who provides. We pray that timely help and support will reach all who are in need. Father, there is so much pain and conflict across the Middle East. We pray for leaders throughout the region and ask you to turn their hearts towards peace. As our leaders and those around the world consider how to respond, please grant them wisdom and insight. Lord Jesus, you are the Prince of Peace. We pray for an end to the violence and bloodshed and ask you to bring a new dawn of peace across the Middle East. O Mary, glorious Queen of Peace, grant us peace in our hearts, harmony in our families, and conquered throughout the world. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Please be seated for some parish announcements. First, we are inviting everyone to visit the Chapel of the Relic. This is located at the back of the main church. The chapel is open every day from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. from Monday to Saturday, and from 7 a.m. to 9 p.m. on Sundays for pilgrims and devotees to pray and venerate the relic of our patron, St. John Bosco. Second, we are also inviting everyone to attend the Healing Mass as we commemorate a votive Mass in honor of St. John Bosco every Saturday during the 1215 Mass. Anointing of the sick is also administered after the Mass at the Chapel of the Relic. Third, November Mass envelopes are now available at the entrance of the church. Please get one and once filled up, drop it in the appropriate boxes. Fourth, Caritas Manila is knocking on our generous hearts to support disadvantaged youth from Metro Manila, like those from Payatas and Baseco. Youths from the poorest provinces like Apayao and Masbate, indigenous peoples, victims of calamities, and those affected by war and conflicts like those in Mindanao. Through the servant, youth servant leadership and education program, they are able to provide college or rock tech education and equip these underprivileged scholars with Christian values for holistic development and preparation for them to lead and serve the church and the country in the future. For details on how you can help these poor but deserving scholars, you may visit the Caritas Manila booth outside the church. Thank you. Please all stand. Let us pray. May your sacraments, O Lord, we pray, perfect in us what lies within them, that what we now celebrate in signs we may one day possess in truth. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for a while. So we will have this beautiful practice of going to the cemeteries to visit the dead. Diba? Pupunta tayo sa cementerio. Ang cementerio po ay lugar ng dalangin. Hindi siya lugar ng family reunion. The, play, the, the, the cemetery is a place of prayer. Kaya ang tawag natin dyan, Campo Santo, banal na lugar. Kaya nung unang panahon, ang mga simenteryo nasa likod o nasa gilid ng simbahan. Kasi extension sa nung simbahan para sa mga patay. Okay? Yan ganyan. So we go to the cemeteries to pray. After praying, stay for a while. Huwag na maglalaro ng tong each. Okay? Hindi po yun dun lugar na yun. Uh, irespeto po natin ang sementeryo. Second, when we go to the cemeteries and pray for the dead, we have we can claim 
are plenary indulgence. Indulgence. Ano yung indulgence? Ang ibig sabihin nun, if you do a work of, uh, if you make a little a prayer on an act of piety, like going to the cemeteries, the temporal punishment of your sins are removed. Ibig sabihin, kahit na pinatawad ka na sa kasalanan mo, even if you have been forgiven of your sins, kailangan bayaran mo pa rin yung kasalanan ginawa mo, di ba? Hello? Dapat ayusin mo. Pag hindi mo inayos yung ganyan, kunyari, uh, siniraan ko yung tao, tapos nagkumpisal ako, pinatawad ako, dapat ayusin ko ngayon yung pangalan niya na siniraan ko. Pag hindi ko ginawa yun, I deserve some kind of punishment for that. I did not finish, actually. So, yun yung purgatorio. Yun yun. So, what, is the, what, are, what do we believe? That if you go one of, one of getting the indulgences, mawawala yung temporal punishment na yun, if you, go, if you do an act of piety, pray certain prayers, or you go to the cemeteries, makukuha natin yun. But, with the proper disposition, Ibig sabihin nun, ako ay magbabagong buhay, ako ay magsisisi sa aking kasalanan, at ipagdadasal ko ang simbahan. Yung ano, uh, Our Father, Hail Mary, Glory be, for the intentions of the Holy Father. Bakit? Kasi, saan nang gagaling yung, yung, yung plenary indulgence? Simple lang yan. Ang simbahan, Walang katapusan niya nagdadasal. 24 hours tuloy-tuloy nagdadasal ang simbahan. Isipin mo lang yung mga misa na walang katapusan. Di ba? Yung ganyan. So ano nangyayari ngayon? Mara- may mga pondo ng dasal ang simbahan. Meron siyang pondo ng spiritual energies. Yun yung ibinibigay sa atin. So the church gives that to us. So that we can be saved from our temporal punishment. Ika nga, yung ganyan. So, samantalahin natin, ang pagpunta sa sementeryo ay isang dalangin. Okay po? Yung ganyan. Marami tayong ibang ginagawa, okay, lahat na yan, pero please, take time to pray in the cemeteries. Okay? Yung ganyan. So that's it. Thank you so much. Please rise. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. So Don Bosco Masaya. Sama Sama. Good morning, everyone.
Cảm ơn các bạn đã xem video. Nếu thấy hay, hãy nhấn like, đăng ký kênh và comment để ủng hộ chúng mình nhé.